think that $100 oil is something that's captured people's imagination. The you know inflation traders and the macro traders are are taking flyers. It's probably a little aggressive uh, given all the OPEC spare capacity, but I think it does highlight that we've got a really solid fundamental crude market right now. How long would it take for supply to catch up with demand? Well, I think that um, you know right now we've got demand surging because COVID is starting to, to ease and. So if you turned on the taps from OPEC, it could take you know, a month or two uh, to get underlying supply from drilling wells. It would take a year or two. So uh, quickly from OPEC, not so quickly outside of OPEC. And the reality is that this price rally is happening in the face of all this OPEC capacity. So the market knows it's tight. Pippa, how much are traders wagering on oil going much higher from here? I mean, it's one thing to say, OK, a few people think it's possible and, and so forth. But what is the consensus trajectory at this point? Well, we are seeing longer term optimism rise here. But to Dan's point, there's a lot of unknowns in the market right now on both the supply and the demand side. So on the supply side, OPEC could bring production back online beginning in August. You know, U.S. producers could open up the taps and start pumping if they want. And then demand, we haven't seen a normalization yet. So right now we're seeing a huge spike as people are hitting the road. You know, higher gas prices aren't deterring consumers right now because they want to take that trip. They want to see their family. But whether or not that plays out into the back half of the year, that remains to be seen. So amid that environment, we are seeing producers being a little bit more cautious here, which is leading traders to bet that we will see a longer term upward trajectory, at least for the time being, Kelly. You know, Dan, we spoke with John Katsimatita, uh, Tidys a little uh, while ago, and he was talking about how all of our disinvestment is pushing up oil prices, and that's especially hard on lower income, income consumers. Do you see traces of that in the market, you know, this, this idea that underinvestment is creating higher oil prices? Because we often talk about the supply and demand fundamentals, but is that another important piece of this? Yeah, I think we've got sort of the, the law of unintended consequences here where uh, we, we certainly got an administration that would like to see, uh, I think, greener energy. It's more expensive energy, and that hits the folks that are least able to afford it. So I, I think at the end of the day, we're going to have to find a way to have both green energy and conventional energy and probably along the way uh, support some of those folks that are less able to pay for uh, higher commodity prices. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.